welcome back to Stacy So and So. Thank you for joining me again this week and welcome to my new followers. If you're seeing this and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope that you'll take a moment to click the subscription tab and also the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Today I am starting a new project that I've been talking about now for about three weeks. Um, I finished the patchwork skirt like you saw in my last video. And today I am starting the process on creating the uh, Georgette, cam uh, not camisole, I almost made the mistake again, the Georgette cardigan. So give me just a minute, I'll show you the supplies that I've collected together that I'll be using for this upcycle project. Starting off with the beautiful Georgette cardigan that's going to be upcycled. And then I actually took this piece of lace, I picked it apart, it was a panel in the middle of a curtain, and it took me quite a while to very delicately pick it out, but it's going to be so worth it. And then we are going to also add some beautiful yellow daisy trim, because we are going to be dyeing the cardigan a very pastel, beautiful yellow. I think this is called, yeah, daffodil yellow. And of course we're going to need thread and some pins and of course my sewing machine. Okay. So the first thing I did was figure out how long of a piece I was going to need of this lace that I had cut out and wanted to make sure it was centered. This is the back. And so I centered it and I pinned it in place. The other thing I did was I made sure that I had, I folded it over onto the inside so that I can, I folded it twice so that I can sew right along here and hold uh, any raw edges inside. So I have it pinned here, but the next thing I need to do is I'm going to, just to be sure, I don't want it to shift when I'm sewing, I'm going to pin it down both sides and I'm going to sew it. You can see right through here, I'm going to sew it twice, once here down this line and once down this line on both sides. And then I'll turn up underneath the bottom of the cardigan and sew that as well. So let's get our pins and get pinning. And now I have it all pinned in place. It's going to be gorgeous up the back of this cardigan. It's going to add so much more visual interest than when it was just plain. And since I, when I, I purchased a uh, synthetic dye, so this lace should dye and coordinate and blend right in with the Georgette. But hope, I'm hoping it'll still keep some of that beautiful sheen that it has right now. So you can see all the way down to the bottom. And now we are ready to sew it on. We are with the panel completely sewn in. Ah, it looks wonderful. So next step is to dye it. I'm a little nervous. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. So I've got my big pot and my dye. And it says to add a squirt of soap. So we'll be adding that next. Uh, and before I fill it up and start getting the water hot, I've got to wet the cardigan. So here we go. Okay, the water is hot. I've got my gloves. So I'm just going to put one on for right now. All right. Have our synthetic grit dye. I'm not going to use the whole bottle. We'll try using about half. So let's just pour this in. Okay, pretty good. Now, the other thing they said to add was a squirt of dish soap. So let's do that because goodness knows I don't have much more than a squirt left. All right, I guess I should stir it up a little bit. All 
right, let's stir up the color. It doesn't look very dark, but you know what? We'll start with it the way it is. And if we need to add more than we always can. So I have the cardigan. It is wet because I said to add it wet. So let's just put it down in there. Okay. Because I am hoping this will be more pastel. Let's push out the bubbles. I definitely want it more pastel than like, you know, bright, um, like sunshine yellow. So, all right. So we'll keep going and stirring constantly like they said we should. Okay. It's looking pretty good. I actually ended up adding the rest of the bottle just because I put so much water in here. But the color is looking really good. I know it's it's going to look darker while it's wet. So we're just going to keep stirring. I'll probably do this for... They said 30 minutes, but I don't know if it's going to take a full 30 minutes. We'll see. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Look how much color this has absorbed. I think I might go ahead and try to rinse it, see how it looks, and then if I need to, I will put it back in. Okay, let's get some cool water. Start rinsing this out. Okay. Oh, it's looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna keep rinsing. Okay, so I've rinsed it so it came clear, and I think it's perfect. I don't think I want any more saturation. I think the color's exactly like I wanted. I love the way the lace dyed against the Georgette. So now, I think we just need to dry it. Ta-da, it is done. I gotta tell you, I was so nervous about this process just because I had never used the Rit dye before and I was just imagining it like turning out all splotchy and horrible, but I am so pleased and so happy. I mean, I just, I love the way this turned out. Um, so once I dried it and I let it air dry in the sun, um, it, it just, it just, the color is exactly what I'd hoped for. So once I completed that, I added the Daisy trim around the bell sleeves. Isn't that a beautiful touch? And then I also made the daisy choker, which will be included uh, with the cardigan. So let me very quickly turn Betty here around so you can see how gorgeous the lace dyed that I put on the back. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I, the color is exactly what I'd hoped for. There if there's any difference in the shade at all, it's so minimal, you can't really tell. But the lace held on to the sheen. That I was, you know, it has a little shininess to it. I was worried that was going to go away, and it didn't. If anything, adding the color just enhanced that, and I absolutely love it. So here, let me just all the this lace goes all the way down to the hem. Isn't that wonderful? So thank you for joining me again this week. I hope you enjoyed the process of the refashion of this cardigan. I am so happy with the way it turned out. I hope that someone out there loves it. I will be listing this um, for the next drop. Um, as many of you know, I have changed over from having um, my own personal website. I've joined a platform called Restatement and they do drops once or twice a month. So this will be 
in the next drop. I'll let everybody know when that's going to happen. So if this and the choker are something that you would like, I'll let you know as soon as possible so that you can find it. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. I will be back again next week. I've not decided which project I'm going to work on yet. So we'll just leave it at that and it'll be a surprise. So everyone have a wonderful week. Thank you again so much for joining me and happy sewing.